Hi, I'm Dr. David Green with PreferPainCenter.com, where we bring you anything and everything education related for pain management. The topic today is barometric pressure. And I don't bring that up because I'm a meteorologist. I bring it up because barometric pressure has been for a long time related to increase in pain. So have you ever talked to a friend or your grandparents or somebody who has arthritis and says, oh, I can tell when a storm is coming. I start to have increased pain in my knee or swelling in my joints. And you think that you know, they're basically making it up. Well, they're not making it up. There's a new study at a Harvard Medical School looking at this exact topic. Do changes in the weather affect those with chronic pain from arthritis? And the answer is, it absolutely does. So this study looked at patients from San Diego, Tennessee, and Boston. So I thought that was a very unique approach, right? Because you have Boston, which has a very cold winter, and then you have San Diego, which is a very temperate climate, and then Tennessee, which has a good four seasons. So they tried to get the geographical uh, differentiations covered. And the answer was that most patients, well over two-thirds, did, experience, did know when the weather was going to change for the worse because they could feel it in their arthritic joints. The question is why? Why does that happen? Well, barometric pressure is another term for atmospheric pressure. So without any atmospheric pressure, we wouldn't have any tension against our bodies. We basically, our tissues would be able to expand and there would be nothing sort of keeping us, um, you know, as our normal shape. Okay, so when barometric pressure changes or atmospheric pressure changes due to a cold front coming in or whatnot, what can happen is you can have less atmospheric pressure on the body and the body tissues are allowed to expand and they can touch up against nerve endings that lead to pain. So that's why a person can have an increase in pain from differences in barometric pressure. But the study actually went a step further with its findings. Because what happens is people say, oh, I have bad arthritis, if only I lived in the desert. I mean, I'm in the desert right now. So the answer is that's not going to work because the body is smarter than that. It's more adaptive, meaning that even slight differentials in barometric pressure in the desert atmosphere or anywhere really, back in Tennessee or whatnot, um, are going to be felt. So even if you live in Arizona, Nevada, you're still going to be subjected to slight differences in barometric pressure and have pain even when the weather changes slightly because your body's smarter than that. So then it becomes a myth one step further is that moving to the desert would make your arthritis much better. It's probably not the case, unfortunately. So it's a great place to live. Arizona's awesome, but it's not so fabulous for your arthritis like you may have thought. Check out our website at preferredpaincenter.com. There's a lot of educational information on there, a very active blog. We work with Arizona pain specialists. They have double board certified doctors who are very good at handling arthritis non-operatively, as well as handling medication management, uh, interventional procedures. There's board certified chiropractors at all locations, along with physical rehabilitation doctors. A lot of options to try and avoid surgery, get the pain under control, keep working, playing with your kids, enjoying your social life and recreational activities. That's what it's all about and that's what Arizona Pain Specialist does. The phone number is 602-507-6550. I'm Dr. David Green with PreferPainCenter.com. Your pain stops here.